I have this joke that I tell people. I don't know if people get it, but I like to say that Loop Writer is supposed to be、um, the Japanese dub of a Hollywood adaptation of Japanese manga, is what Loop Writer is supposed to be. We put out our last album in 2019, end of 2019.、Uh, and then our, our previous drummer left, and then we got a new drummer, and we were very much ready to go out and play shows and play songs off that record. But then, of course, in, in 2020, the pandemic happened, and then we were stuck at home.、Uh, we kind of stopped rehearsing、uh, for, for quite a bit. And so we, we didn't have any plans or schedule or, or goals really. Everything kind of was、uh, back, to, back to square one. So we started just writing new material、uh, probably like March or April of 2020. Well, COVID hit right at the beginning of making this album. So、uh, we had to do everything online pretty much、um, with a lot of Zoom meetings and、um, kind of working out in parts in each other's houses. And then coming together occasionally in the studio. Hmm. To 今回のアルバムのでも初めて聞いた時は、まあ今までと違う雰囲気の曲が割とやっぱり多かったので。それはワクワクしましたと,、えー、とまあいろんな今まで使ってない音、まあ、エフェクターの音だったりを試したいなとも思ってたのでまあいい機会だなっていうふうに思ってたのもありますしあとは割とこう激しい曲じゃなくて本当にこう穏やかな曲もそういう曲あったので、まあ、今までにない取り組みになるのかなと思ってすごいエキサイトはしました。So, the album is called Meta, Metamorphose,、uh, so Metamorphosis. So, there are a couple meanings. One is literal change of the band, so we did go through a lineup change. Even though they、uh, were working with the previous drummer,、um, I've sort of fit in pretty quickly and they let me do my own drum parts and、uh, they allowed me to sort of change a、uh, little bit s here that kind of fit my drumming style a bit more. And then also just kind of the different sounds and Uh, different types of songs that we wanted to add to the album. It's also supposed to be reflective of that.、Um, so, for example, the last two albums, Ouroboros and Moon, they were very much, in my mind, kind of singular wall of sound experiences. To me, especially Ouroboros, is about、um, how to do different types of songs with the same sound. But this album is, was very much about like, how to do different types of songs with different types of sounds. で表現したことのないようなギターのフレーズだったり、まあ、音っていうのを出したいなっていうふうに一番思ってたので、まあ、サウンドとしては、まあ、今まで結構激しめの曲も多くて歪みをがっつりもファズを使いまくるみたいな感じだったんですけれども、まあ、逆に、えーとまあ、いろんな空間系のエフェクターを多用して、まあ、それもパートごとに同じ曲の中でも、まあ、A メロとかサビとかで違った音色を使い分けてとにかくいろんな音を出すことにこだわりました。
So uh, Nightfall came from, uh, I was playing for an electro band and uh, there was a track that I wanted to do that was much more slow and kind of uh, a bit more psychedelic and it just didn't fit and I just had it in the back burner for a while. I thought I'd try applying it to um, Leap Rider and see how it worked. Um, and it, yeah, it came together pretty organically. Yeah, so when we got into this recording studio, we worked with uh, Taka Kubo, who is the engineer for Studio Chaos Care. Uh, we've done a bunch of records with him. We did Orbors and we did Moon with him. Um, and previously, he was very much just kind of an engineer. Uh, he would, you know, set up mics and hit record. But on this album, he was very much more involved in the uh, the arrangement of some of the songs. Yeah, our song Red that's on this album was on a compilation created by Adult Swim called Japan is Wild, uh, where they showcased uh, a dozen or so Japanese underground bands. That, that brand for me personally meant a lot because I used to watch Adult Swim when I was living in the States. And so that block, of course, was where a lot of people, I think, were introduced to a lot of Japanese animation. So kind of getting that call to be on that compilation. And then we found out that there were bands that I had loved since I started listening to music were also on the comp. So bands like Melt Banana and Boris, of course, which we, our band name is from a Boris song. So these other amazing bands uh, kind of being in the same space as them was also a big deal for me. So I think in, in, in my mind, a lot of things for me, like personally, also kind of came full circle. えっと、there was this idea about crystals and uh, cosmos and stratosphere and very sort of spacey look to it. And it was a it, it took a, it took a while to get kind of into the flow of it. I think we worked for it on it about six months because it wasn't just the cover. Um, there was uh, about um, 10 individual pieces that needed to be done because we were going to have a different um, picture for every single track on it. And um, uh, that was originally the kind of idea and then an overarching cover. So we worked pretty closely on it and there was a lot of variations. I think in total there was something along the lines of about like 50 individual pieces that we did and selected the ones that we want. Some of them were just variations of the others. I think what's happened is I, I see the, the previous things we've done as kind of one thing and then that's really kind of painted in my mind. And then also I think just other things, right? Like the lineup coming together um, is another thing. I think sound-wise, we've learned a lot about how to use the gear um, and what kind of gear is important. And then I think uh, just kind of, again, me being okay with like things happening organically. So I think it's all, it's a combination of all those things. I think previously we, we had ideas on what we wanted to do, um, but for whatever reason, whether it was like people coming or going in the band, or we just didn't know how to create those sounds with like the, the gear and the equipment. Um, I think that's all kind of just come in, uh, fallen into place with this album. So I think that's that's kind of the result.
Okay. Done. Done.